Hi, it's Helen Ronenberg. And if you want a quick and easy way to follow up with your customers, then stick around. I'm going to explain to you a quick, easy way to set up Trello to have some semi-automated follow-ups for your customers. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Hi everybody and welcome, it's Helen Ronenberg and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Trello to create follow-ups for your customers. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to trello.com and you're going to click here on the right saying sign up. And it's going to give you different options to sign up with Google um, and I'm going to quickly sign up. Okay, so once you've signed up this is the first screen that you are going to see and Trello actually takes you step by step on how you to create your first board. It's very slow today and I apologize for that. Okay, so it says welcome to Trello. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to actually create your board and we're going to call it customer follow up. And now it's going to give me three different types of lists. Now, instead of things to do, doing and done list, I'm actually going to be creating my different categories of customers that I have. So I'm going to say shampoo and I'm going to have skincare. And this can be whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to have, say, potential customers because I also want to follow up with customers that haven't bought anything. So those are the three lists that I'm going to be creating. And now it's going to say, okay, you need to add a couple of cards. Shirley White and Rex, oh, Reggie Black and Felix and these are all just made up names Felix Gray okay so now I've got my three customers that I've created now what you can see for each customer you can actually add comments and you can create a checklist as well if you want to so you in your comments you could be putting things on what products they bought Say, for instance, if it is a shampoo customer, what kind of shampoo did they buy? Did they buy the um, volumizing? Did they use the oily one? Or whatever you want to know about your customer, you can also add their birth dates, all kinds of things in there. But for now, we're just going to, uh, oh, it's going to force me to. Oh, okay. Now, the next step. It's going to take me to my board and there's various things that you can um, do with your board and you know you are more than welcome to go through and play around with it. Trello is just an amazing way to organize your work. So what we are going to give, what we are going to do is we go up to show menu and we're going to use what they call a power up. Now power up, the power up that we're going to be using is um, called calendar and this is just going to help us to put it into a calendar view. I must apologize my internet's really slow today and I'm just going to type in calendar. So you get one free power up per board if you want to have more then unfortunately you have to get the paid version but for what we're doing the calendar is um, awesome. Okay now we're going to close that down. So what you'll see now is you have this little icon saying calendar and all it's going to do is it's actually going to show you a calendar view. Okay, so now you see the, your calendar view and you can have different types of calendars. Um, oh, sorry, you can see week and you can see month. So you month and I can see the whole month. So this is a really, really cool way to visualize what... Um, what your, uh, let's just go back, May, and we're in April, what your follow-ups are going to be look, will be looking like. So now we're going to go back to our board. So I'm going to just click back on calendar so that it goes away. And now I see my calendar. And this is where it gets really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Shelly White, and she bought shampoo today from me. She bought, um, um, say, volumizing, vol 
volume to shampoo. And I'm not very good at spelling. Um, and let me save that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a due date in so now I know that when she has bought shampoo, it normally takes about 60 days. So from today, I'm going to, um, first of all, I want to make sure next week, Thursday, is when she should be getting her shampoo. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to save. And I might write a little comment to say um, mailed mail checking check received and I'm going to save it and now what you're going to do what what you're going to see is when you actually go into your calendar view there will be a entry that this is what I have to do on the 30th of April then once I've actually got it in my calendar it's very easy for me to then, instead of having to go back and double click, I can just drag it and put it on whatever day. So now I'm going to follow up on that day. And you can then double click on it right there. I believe so anyway. Yeah, it's just really slow. And then it's going to bring up the actual card so that you can put in some information. And that's it really. There is... A extra thing that you can do is if you are actually getting um, your customers or if you have a customer um, list in a spreadsheet you can actually go in and also create a Zapier so if you've got a hundred customers and they're all in a spreadsheet rather than you having to go through and create them card by card you can put them into a spreadsheet and you can create a Zapier or a Zap that puts them into the Trello card. And I'm really just quickly going to take you through this. It's so intuitive. Um, if you have any problems with this, you can let me know. So I'm going to create a zap. And my zap is going to be from my Google Sheet. And once I'm going, once again, I'm going to say a new or updated row and continue and I'm going to select my sheet or the Google account and I'm going to say continue. I've then got to say which sheet I'm using again, uh, mailing boss automation. Choose the value, sheet one, and I'm going to do any column. I'm going to refresh my, my field so that it can show me what the data is on there, and I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to say test and continue. And now I'm going to select Trello. If it's not here, obviously it's here. You can just put in the save. Uh, sorry, the search. And it's going to bring up Trello for me. And now I'm going to say what account. So in, in the same way that you had to sign up with the Google, you know, you have to attach whatever account to Zapier, you have to do the same for Trello. And it's really easy. It's um, You just follow it step by step. I'm going to create my board. Oh, sorry, I'm going to create a card. Continue. And I'm going to search. So I'm just going to use that one. Continue. I'm going to select my board. So let's do customer follow-up. I'm going to choose my list, shampoo customers. And this is where I'm going to actually take the data from my spreadsheet and I'm going to put it on my board. So what I first want, I want all the options. I want to have their name 
and then I want to have their surname and then I want their, um, their tag. So what customer, well, I actually know what that is. I'm going to show you one. And then I want the comments and maybe the follow-up date if I'm putting that into my spreadsheet. And you can really put whatever you want in your spreadsheet and it'll automatically get copied into your card, your Trello card, if you select it over here. Okay. And then I'm going to choose the value. So this is just selecting my, the actual board. Oh, sorry. I was doing that. Okay. That's just selecting my board. And now it looks and it looks at all the different information that I actually have on the board. So what I want to do is if I've added the due date in there, then I will go in here and say, yes, that's what I want. I want you to put the follow up date in there. And attachments, checklist name, check no items, no, none of those I'm going to add. But you can, it doesn't matter, I'm just doing it, skipping those because I haven't got any data in any of the spreadsheets. Click continue. Test and continue. And you're done. So what you can now do is if, say, for instance, I've got all my Trello customers, I'm going to click off of the calendar because I just want to see my board view, and I see actually um, Felix bought skincare. I, all I have to do is just drag it from one board to the next, and you can create whatever. So say, for instance, now you've got shampoo and, and skincare. You can have that board. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't click on add list. And now what I can do is I can say, okay, Reggie Black is our both skincare and a product customer. So that's really, really basic. There's so many things that you can do in Trello, but I really wanted to keep it very, very simple for you. I hope this, I trust that this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free. Oh, before I, there was one more thing that I wanted to show you actually, and that is that you can actually create this so that you can do it, subscribe to your Trello calendar, and it will show up on your calendar on your phone. And the way you do that is just go to show menu, you go down over here to your power ups or your calendar. Um, you then go to, if it's not enabled, it'll say enable power up. If it's, if I've already done that, so let me just show you what it will look like. So I go there, so I've disabled it. You go add my power up. Add it up. When I go to settings, edit my power settings. Oh, sorry, enable sync is what I was looking for. And then once I've got this, I get this URL, and this is a subscribe calendar feed. And it depends on what mail system that you're using. If you're using Apple Mail, it's different to if you're using Android. So what I'll do is under this video, I'll send you a link to the instructions on how to subscribe to a calendar. But it's really cool because this then actually goes straight to your phone or to your calendar on your laptop and you can then know exactly what to do. So you don't actually have to come back to your Trello board. And of course, if you're going to get really fancy, what you could do is you could just use this um, spreadsheet and that would automatically put them onto your customer board and then it will put it into your calendar. That's another way that you could do it. And then if you change the follow up date, you'd have to come and change it. Yeah, just an idea. Anyway, I hope that's trust that's helpful. Um, until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye for now.